uh, Igbo should stop saying South South is uh, Biafra. All Igbo should stop making that nonsense comment. South South is not Biafra. You understand me? Akwaibom is not Biafra. River State is not Biafra. Edo is not Biafra. Bayasa is not. Stop putting River State, stop putting Akwaibom, you know, River State, uh, Cross River in your Biafra map. That's what we are telling you guys. Eh? South South is not Biafra. South South is not Igbo. Are you getting me now? Igbos have been living in the South South. Yes, that's true. If you have Igbos living in South South, they are just Igbos living in South South. You understand me? South South do not belong to the Igbos. That is what we are telling you guys. You understand me? Stop drawing your map and be putting a quiet bomb in your map. It's not working. Are you getting me? It's not going to work. You don't cast. Let us examine the statement that is coming from someone from Niger Delta saying that there is nothing like uh, Biafra in the whole South South. And I thought this had been settled for a long time. The man that is talking about himself, uh, uh, bragging and arguing over that issue, that forgotten issue, how many years old is he? That is the question you should ask yourself. It should be in his either 30s or 40s. Thank you so much. So that is, these are things you should be looking into. I have a man that I listened to yesterday. He's from Ureli. Eh? He was exonerating Biafra. He was exonerating Igbo man. He was shouting down on Sukomi, one Sukomi like that. He said, stop commenting on my page or I block you. Get away. Igbo man is better than you. Biafra is better than Nigeria. The man was talking and talking about this Biafra Igbo of 18. This man I'm talking about is in his 60s. He's a matured man. So when somebody comes out and say, eh, there's nothing like a Biafra in South South, look at his age, examine his head. Okay, what Gideon? Okay, Gideon, uh, Pastor Gideon, Obon is saying. Do you know that he has gone viral? Many people are promising Obon here. I've been warning him, say, there's, there are things you don't talk on social media. All those abuse against Biafrans. They are promising you help. Some say they are coming to this Lagos and pick you and that you won't know it. So, examine the person well, profile him with your, your sense and know if he is qualified to argue on Biafra. Okay, let me tell you, people that are qualified enough to argue, argue about Biafra are people of 1960, people that are seven years when the war break out, they can still tell you about the war. People that are 12 years when the war break out, they can still tell you that they even went on record. They even go giving information to soldiers. I don't know what I understand. Bringing good information to either Nigeria or their French soldiers. Those are the people that qualify. They are closely closing up on 70s, 70 years of age. These are people that can tell you, we are Biafra, we are not, then you will take it. When an Urobo boy, man, that is 30 years, is bragging over Biafra, he was born in the 90s, he doesn't want it, he doesn't have information, he is history blind about Biafra. He can never say much about Biafra nation. What communicated to the war, you know, the war escalating up to that level. That young man could not tell you. So change their age, check their age, profile them too well. Know from the angle of the geopolitical zone the person comes from. Check his age. That is when you will judge whom he is. The young man you are talking about is in his 30s. He was born 1992 or 91 or 93 or 94. So he doesn't want it. He doesn't want saying anything about Biafra. All I know is that all the coastal states, all the coastal states of Biafra are I give you their names, Cross River State, Akwebom State, Delta State, Anambraimo, Abia, Eboi. These are very close to Atlantic Ocean. From Eboi State to, to Port Harcourt, it can take you four hours. These are coastal states of Biafra. Bayasa, River State, Delta State, Edo State. We are all the coastal states of Biafra. Are you listening to me? The whole Urobo community, the guy is not even dragging it about his evil blood. He's talking about Biafra. Biafra is older than his father. It is his father that will tell much about Biafra. His father and mother. His mother might be in his 50s. I don't know what understand. Or closing on uh, uh, 60. His mother will tell you much about Biafra. So the boy that is talking in question could be regarded as what? A little lad. An innocent lad. Yes, a toddler. When you talk about history in regard of Biafra Nigerian civil war, the guy is a toddler. He's still playing with toy. If you ask me, not only toy, he's still a suckling. Now, let alone in those days, his mama, his mama that gave birth to him might be a suckling then. Not now. He's suckling, he doesn't know what he's saying. He's a history blind man. Oh my. Okay, let us look at uh, what of a situation where a Yoruba man is saying South South is not Biafra. South South. 
It's not bad man. Say, say South South is not Biafra. Hey, it's a, a transportation of jealousy now. They are always jealous of the Igbos. If, if a robot man says South South is not Biafra, you will find out that it's there always the problem we have in Nigeria. Outside man that is in the Sahel country, almost closer to desert, they are clamoring for their own separate nationality now. The Yoruba man that is living here in the mangrove uh, forest, where you know that uh, you have rain, rainforest here, they don't like anything from nature. They are rich in nature here, but they are not ready to go because they are lazy people, lazy and jealous of the Igbos. See, if you listen to Yoruba man bragging about Biafra, don't give him attention. They have all it takes to leave Nigeria, but they don't want to go because they like white collar job to stay in the office and use Biro siphon money. Look at what Tinubu is doing. Tinubu is supposed to restructure Nigeria so that everybody will be self-reliant in Nigeria. Tinubu is not going to the angle of restructuring because he's benefiting from the system. That's why he's not in a haste to restructure Nigeria. If a, a, a rubber man tells you that Biafra, blah, 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 ignore him. They don't have what it takes to be on their own. They have not yet started. Odudua is just not, how many years old of Odudua Republic agitation? Biafra is getting to how many years of Biafra? Britain was here, the colonialists, we drag and drag it to get ourselves, it, to be a free Igbo nation. Igbo, Igbo nation is too old, older than any race we can talk of in Africa. Look at the way they spread all over the world. If your woman is telling you wrong thing about Biafra, don't mind him. He is transported by what? Jealous, jealousness. They should build their own state and allow Igbo man to be. He's not a better man than Igbo man. The Yoruba man that is telling you that there's nothing like Biafra. They are always draggled and damped, damp, that you know, damp themselves on potopoto of what? Enviousness and jealousness. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Rafa. Let us look at. Uh...